Hey, just going on a little trail over here at the... Oh, I always forget the name of this place. They don't really have it written down. I have to look it up to find out what it's called, so... It's on 84th Street between Canyon Road and, uh... And Waller Road. So... And it's raining, and I have an umbrella, so the video will be more bouncy than normal. So... Something that this trail reminds me of is how people will. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Doing well. This trail reminds me of how, in places like these, uh, people will complain about. They're occasionally being dog shit, but there's tons of horse shit everywhere. But I think it's cool that... Whew. I really pigged out a little earlier. Um, I think it's cool that there is a nice place for people to take their horses on trails. But I've said that before about this place, so... I was just thinking a little earlier about how, you know, those, several years ago, I mean, maybe it was like, it was like 15 years ago or so, there was this trend of people having these neon lights under their cars. I know there's a certain name for them, but I forget what they're called. And, uh, they were made illegal in most states. I never quite understood why they were made illegal, because they, uh... They made the cars more visible, and yet they weren't something that was a glare or anything. They didn't make anything dangerous. And yet, we have all these headlights now that are just ridiculously bright. I mean, they're like, brighter than most people's brights. And then, they're often a really odd color, you know, really, really bluish. I've seen pink headlights. <laughs> really bright, and nothing gets done about them. They've been out for quite a while, too. I just thought that's weird. And then, I'm not a fan of the way that they do LED taillights. To me, I mean, if they're going <laughs> to... It shouldn't be about saving energy. It should be about visibility and safety. And the way they're doing it now, these taillights strobe. Sometimes at 60 frames a second, but, but a lot of times they're, they're higher to try to make it a little bit less noticeable. But, I mean, when you're darting your eyes or you're moving your head from one side to the other while you're driving, usually tail lights will show up as a line. You know, you have this residual vision of the lights, and it would usually be a line. But with these LED tail lights, unless they're actually braking, if you're applying their brakes, um, you see dashes instead. And you kind of wonder, oh, is there more than one car? Oh, wait, no, it's just one car. You know, that sort of thing. And I just thought that was... Uh, to me, it's kind of dangerous the way they do that, but... And there is a way you can make LEDs dim, but it wastes energy, and it might as well be a regular incandescent, but... Like I said, that's what I was meaning by... It shouldn't be about saving energy, it should be about safety. But... Most people don't even notice that. In fact, most people don't seem to notice that LED holiday lights flicker. It's just weird to me how much people don't notice that. 
Have you ever been on a freeway and they have grooves in the road that are at different um, they, they have grooves that are uh, spaced slightly differently so you're on the road and you hear or something I think it'd be kind of trippy to have these sections of road where it plays a song <laughs> I remember watching this video where they, um, there was this almost like a little obstacle course-like thing, and they put all these little things that would touch things on this little obstacle course on this car, and, uh, as they're driving through, I mean, they have they have guitars and everything can, can, on the on the side of the road, and the car would go past these things, and it would play a song. <laughs> but I just think it'd be weird to force people to play a song just by driving over an area on the road. Wow, it's really wet, and I'm wearing sandals. I'm so smart. <laughs> um. So. Anyway, um, yeah, I like these trails. I've never been on them in this season before, so Oh wow, that's really muddy. Muddy! What am I going to do here? Can I make it through there? Can I make it through the mud? Okay. Let's see. Help me make it through the mud. Alright. And hope I don't drop the camcorder. <laughs> And this big ass umbrella. Okay, let's see here. All right, I got through the the rough part of it. All right. Which way? Which way should I go? Which way should I go? Uh, it's just really wet here. I'm going to just kind of make it a shorter trip. Yeah, shorter trip. Rained on horse shit. Ah, which way on this one? Let's go this way.
nice thing about this place is it's, I mean, there's very few people that come here. I did run into some people that you, as you saw, but it's not like Wapato, it's not like Point Defiance. Well, I gotta go to Point Defiance sometime soon here. I haven't been there in a while. Been on the five mile drive, but not on the trails. <laughs> I remember, uh, I don't know, about three years ago, I had, uh, it was more than that, I think it was four or five years ago, actually. <laughs> Time flies. When I went there, parked in a certain spot, went on some trails for a while, then I tried to go back to where I was, and ended up having to walk about <laughs> two and a half miles to get back to the vehicle because I had taken some spot on the trail that, well, it led somewhere totally different. It, it went across a, an entire shortcut that bypassed the road. and. <laughs> It's before I had a smartphone and before I could just before I was able to just look it up on a map oh this is where I am in relation to the rest of the place um, This will be the first time I'll get to see um, this sort of footage in 60 frames a second on YouTube. I wonder how bouncy it looks compared. I mean, it'll be bouncy, but if you can actually make out what's what's there, you know, when I move the camera and stuff. So. It may not have been much of a walk, but just didn't feel that much like uh, all the mud, although this isn't very much mud, but it's also just a little bit awkward carrying these things this way, so. As you know, the umbrella. almost had orange something properties is the name of this area orange gate orange gate properties that's it finally remember the name of the damn place <laughs> the orange gate property of addition okay I'm thinking of this, uh, um, Borders of Canada song, I think it might be called Aquarius, but it has this, this person over and over again going, orange. This kid go, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Nobody has any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, I like Borders of Canada, though. They take... Most of the sounds they use are from, like, sometimes old... Uh, old educational movie reels and uh, really old cassettes. Just stuff that's really, really old and sounds all decayed.
and back to the car. Here's the car.